Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Kray and welcome back to another Summon the Swore Siege Battle. So it's gonna begin in 5 seconds. Hopefully we don't get any tough opponents. So far we've met Candy House twice already this season. Just when I mention it, God has to appear. <laughs> okay, so we are fighting against our ex guild. They are currently at rank 2 and the other one at rank 9 called HXH. Right, we'll take a look at their defense first. Asher, Monty, and the Mollies. Pretty interesting. Kakado, Dominic, Mollies. This one, pretty much standard stuff currently in the meta. And for their Tower 10, it's gonna be some LD units. On God's side, they're still running this defense. The Kakano, Liuming, Asher. Two seasons already. They don't bother changing because they know their rune quality is good. <laughs> so, of course, the Tower 9 is the same. And last but not least, their Tenlang Tower. We'll be starting off our first fight of the day up against this Asher, Monty, and the Molly. So, hopefully, this team works. I am not sure. I've seen some of my guildmates win with this. So, I'm just testing it out. I think, first and foremost, we need to kill off the Monty first, as usual. Okay, that's nice. And then now we go for the cleanse, I guess. We don't really need to save the cleanse, right? Ooh. Oi! He counters every time! Oh shit! We don't have the cleanse already! <laughs> oh my god. Proc! Jesus Christ, man. Yo, what the fuck? First round. We already lost? How are we coming back from this, man? Our Chiana is the crit damage build. <laughs> we need our Chiana to do the damage, you know? Oh my god. Wow, and he's so lucky. He keeps on getting so low numbers. Harmonia goes down and there's no way a Roid comes back from this because we don't have any heals. You know what, we are gonna go into it again, and we are gonna run the twins with the Huadem this time. <laughs> I don't know man, I just pray that the Monty rolls high number, please. If he aims my Huadem with a low roll, Huadem dies right off the bat. Okay, never mind. The number is on to my twins, which is nice. Ooh. Wait, 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 stop procking. Can we kill? Oh, we need the armor break, man. Come on, deadly dance. Nice. However, it's still not over yet because there's still armor break onto my unit. And they keep on procking. We have to kill the Asher ASAP. Hui, stop. Huadam only can save my units one more time. Oh no, we need to kill here. Not enough damage. Oh shit. We don't have any heals on our team. So Huadem isn't gonna save anybody from here. We have to kill. Okay. Oi, aim the Huadem, man. <laughs> Huadem lower health. Can we win from here, though? Okay, no proc coming out from that molly. Um... Thankfully, he didn't hit my twin. If not, she's dead. Oh, this is scary, man. Okay, just kill. Oh my god, that was so close. We started off really shaky, but hopefully we can get 9 wins from here on out. So, we are gonna use the Poseidon Cleave. I do not want to overthink. I am confident with my Tiana speed. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, now Galleon. All I need is Galleon to land the triple armor break. Please? Okay, there we go. Push back. Nice. We kill. Easy win. Whenever I see this defense, you already know what's up. I'm gonna bring in our Mokwol lineup. Very safe, because Mokwol also draws the attention from this Molly. And we do have the threat state as well, so they're forced to hit him. Our Galleon won't be stripped. We go for the armor break into the kill onto the Dominic. And then from here, even if we lose our mod wall, I still believe in Laika, you know? We have to. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. And the uh, Kakano goes down 3v1 against this Molly. Now we can place the threat state onto the Laika so that we can try to sustain our Mock Wall for a little while longer. So this Molly down to the last hit already. Do we have the Justice? Oh, we don't have it. Hmm, she's gonna stall us for a little while longer. Yeah, we failed to land the armor break, so she's healing up quite a fair bit. Justice enough to kill. Goat's Tower 10 just open up, and of course, it's gonna be their Tianlang Tower. And this one, we are gonna use our Dominic Ridey and a Dark Tank in the form of Diaz. So Diaz should be soaking. Oh my god. Who knows runes? Oh, it's the Ridey. It's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, should be this. This one has runes, and let's go, let's go. So, like I said, Diaz will be drawing the attention coming up from the Tianlang. Now we place the immunity first, because Tiomars kind of randomly hits at this point. We didn't land the attack break though. Oh, branding. This Tiomars very tanky. However, Endure buff already popped on his side, which is good. Oh, he gets the stun three turns! Yo, 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 not cool, not cool. <laughs> we need to kill the Tiomars, man. Riley proc. Nice! Alright, we go for the third skill. Yeah, we need to cleanse the armor break. Then we can kill off this Tiomars. Definitely. And from here, we are safe. Holy shit. Almost got a heart attack earlier. Thankfully, the Riley proc at the right time. We needed that. I think if not, my Diaz would have died. And then if Tiomas proc one or twice, Dominic dies as well, it's game over. So this one also a little bit sketchy. <laughs> but most importantly, we get the win. We'll be hitting Goat's Netfall Tower, and whenever I see the Kakano Liume Asher, we just bring in the Malite Vigor and Lulu. Should be relatively safe. Okay, that didn't do too much. We'll take it. We go for the heal first because we need the anti-crit up. And I think we can just go for the third skill. I want the immunity onto my water units just in case. My melee has 100% resistance so I am not too afraid. But yet again, they are landing all their debuffs. <laughs> uh, can we kill the Liu Mei ASAP, please? With a heal block, Asher isn't gonna heal that unit. Which is very nice. And then now we go for the provokes again. Perfect. We go for the kill. Yeah, I don't care. Play it safe from now. Now whenever we got heals and immunity, we'll just place it. Because I do not want the Karkano to get like a random kill onto my Malite. Because my Malite has very high defense, but the HP wise is around like 18 to 19k plus. Which isn't that high. So if the armor break lands, hidden aim damage could potentially bring down my melee to around like 3 quarters HP lower. So do not want to risk it. We kill off the Asher first because once Asher goes down, there's nothing a Kakano can do. So yeah, like I said, it's around like 3 quarters damage onto my melee as expected. And then now we just go for the heal, play it safe. At the end of the day, even if our Melite drops here, we got our Vigor to deal against the Kakano because my Vigor has pretty decent crit rate. Yeah, there we go. Two big crits there. We are fighting this Singza, Nora, and a Kinky. So this one pretty interesting. I've never fought against it before because we don't really see Singza on defense. So what I feel like doing is bring in our Dark Lulu together with Tassarion. So Tassarion is gonna be our main damage dealer. I am not sure whether it's enough, but we'll see. Yeah, I do not want to cleanse just yet. We have to place the Oblivion. Okay, good. So the monkey will be taking quite a lot of damage here. And we are gonna use the attack onto the Kinky. So Kinky's damage is reduced significantly. Oh, but this monkey hits hard. Yo, every time they get violent prop, man. If not, my Tassaran could have finished off that unit already. Come on. Okay, finally he goes down. 
and then now we can work on to the Nora. So when we place Oblivion onto this unit, we do not get the dots, like the passive dots, right? Or something, like for the counter. <laughs> I am not really sure about that, but yeah. We just need to kill off this unit first. Yeah, this won't do anything whatsoever. Go for the armor break. Triple non-crit. And my Tosaran has very high crit rate, just saying. Around 80%. How did that not land a single crit? Blows my mind sometimes. <laughs> okay, nice violent proc. Just go down. And this Kinky hits so weak because of the Cha-Cha's third skill. We are not afraid of him. Yeah, we just need to land our Oblivion as usual. So yeah, Tosaran basically hard counters all these units. From here, we don't need to be scared because the Kinky's passive is removed. We are able to crit 22,000 damage. We are gonna use our second set of Water Twins with the Huadem. Because I feel like we got a little bit unlucky earlier. Uh, they Violent proc quite a lot. Honestly speaking, yeah, to be fair. Uh, my twins probably only procced once, if I'm not mistaken. So this one, the Asher is faster. <laughs> oh, I love to see the dice when it rolls 11, 12. <laughs> Literally does jack shit. And then, yeah, Monty just got deleted. Now we can slowly work onto this Asher. And we still have so much HP. There we go, nice additional turn. Left this Molly alone. And we are good because our Huadam still full health. We can basically die for another three more times, if I'm not mistaken, onto the middle twin here. Uh, what's her name? Talia, right? Either Talia or Sabrina, I kind of forgot. I can't really tell uh, which is the twin every time. Gets me confused. <laughs> All I care is if we summon Martina, then I know how it looks. Hey, we are doing good ever since our first round fluke. <laughs> we are winning all our fights since then. So this time we are gonna bring in some fun stuff. Our Gianna, Smicer, and Nora. So we got double strips. Uh, we got the silence off onto the Momo, which is very nice. But I just want to make sure that this mouse gets stunned up. Oh, we didn't get the stun though. No provokes onto this Ophelia as well. Ooh, I don't like this, man. Oh, please strip. Yeah, we have to go for this. Huh? Still resisting? Oh, no. Okay, we have to do this. Nice, finally, she got stunned up. And I really, really, really want to kill off this mouse because we don't really have good heals on our team. <laughs> it's just like the Nora's Normal attack, right? So we can't do much onto the mouse at the moment because of the invincibility buff. Yes, we finally got the stun onto the Ophelia. So if Ophelia violent procs, she dies, which is nice. So the annoying unit is gonna be removed. We just need to kill off the mouse. Then we win. Because I am not afraid of Momo. Honestly speaking, Momo doesn't really do too much nowadays. Uh, ever since Dominic got the buff, yeah, Momo is quite irrelevant. Yeah, just dies really easily. And Ophelia will go down as well. For our last fight of the day, we'll use our Cleave Comp, the Gemini Leah and Phrase Velk. This one, if we land all the armor breaks, oh, we didn't get it onto the Teomars though. But I think should be still okay. Our Leah should be able to kill two units here. Come on. Ooh, the Louis still alive? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thomas needs to go down. Oh, he has end your buff. Leah is dead. Okay, we kill off Thomas. Now the problem here, right? <laughs> if I go for the buff, Gemini can't strip. Because of the passive, right? How it works. So we got no choice but to do this first. And another problem that I might be facing is that our Hraze Velk is not on a crit damage build. I mean, he has crit damage, but the crit rate is very low. <laughs> oh man, I don't like this. But we need to go for the third skill already. We have to life steal a little bit. Oh no. Come on. 
Strip. Okay, we got the armor break. Kill. Glancing man. Yeah, we are just gonna go for the buff. The Louis is very low on health. Please don't heal. Oh no. Okay, land the armor break. Let's go, let's go. Crit! No crit again? <laughs> but down to the last hit already. I think we win! Oh, that was close. Okay, so we got 9 wins out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 234 crystals followed by 203 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So, good. Winning this one, obviously, because we kind of did like a 1v1 against HXH. We secured second place, however. And we are able to open up the rubbish box. Let's go. Ooh, two legendary runes. Okay. But focus though. Hmm. This one, yeah, there's speed inside so we can keep. Ooh, this is also actually very nice. Probably can use for tier weight if we get some good rolls onto the accuracy and speed. So that's about it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are hitting 15,000 subscribers. Uh, very happy to reach this milestone. And thanks once again for all the support from you guys. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.